lies the Hotel Taravina, owned by Nina Basset and Gerard Basset, World Sommelier Champion. In this specially commissioned series of documentaries, we'll be given exclusive access to the hotel and we'll be able to meet the people that make up the Hotel Taravina experience. From kitchen through to housekeeping and of course wine, you'll see the Hotel Taravina like you've never seen it before. This week we meet co-owner of Hotel Taravina, Nina Basse, as she talks us through the Hotel Taravina brand. We started with one, everyone loved the dogs, wanted to know where we bought them from. I kept on giving out the website address and I thought this is a bit silly, I'm missing a trick here. I need to... Uh, get in touch with the guy who's making them and see if we can sell them here. And he said, yeah, yeah, that's fine, but you know, you're a hotel, you're not going to sell that many dogs. And I said, well, actually, you'd be surprised. And he said, okay, fine, you know, here's a few leather dogs, we'll see how it goes. And they all went within days. And so I called him back and said, you know, I need some more dogs. And it turned out that we were selling more than any of his retail places. And so it kind of mushroomed from there. And he introduced us to the various fabrics that he did. And we love the candy stripe fabric because it goes well with the whole image of Taravina. And um, this is a new thing that we're asking him to develop, which will be eventually a bottle doorstop. Um, but they'll be in leather and they'll have a tag and a label on them and so on. But that's just sort of in terms of the weight. This is how they start out and then we kind of develop it from there. But this is the new fabric. So all the dogs will be in this fabric as well. And we have puppies and mini puppies that we use up in the room, which uh, makes a big difference to the bottom line. So it's great. What I wanted to do was have a whole feel of the forest coming inside. And uh, a friend of mine takes photos and she takes photos predominantly of seascapes and I asked her if she could take some of the forest but I didn't want any ponies or deer or anything that was sort of cliched forest and so for a whole year she spent every weekend with her little girl and her husband going out and about in the forest around predominantly the hotel and taking pictures and, um, and she gave me a series of photos which we then matched to the decors of each of the bedrooms and uh, you know as you can see I mean some of them are absolutely stunning what we wanted to do was try to use as many local people who are based in the community as possible so the fabrics are from um, a company in Ringwood and they've been made up by a lady who's in Milton the furniture was made by a company in Christchurch uh, the staircase was made by a guy who works and lives in Bewley there's many aspects of the hotel that we've tried to be as local as possible obviously we use local supplies for the food and so on so, uh, you know, it's great because it gives them an enthusiasm to have something on their doorstep that they're happy to show off and showcase for us. And, uh, and for us it's great because when things, you know, go wrong or somebody pulls a cord on the blinds or something, the lady's just down the road and she can come back and fix it for us. So this is my favourite room. Um, the reason being because when we first had the building, this room was the worst room in the whole hotel. Um, it was, in fact, three rooms. You can see where the window is now, that there are three sort of obvious partitions. And that side was a bathroom, this was a bedroom, this was a bathroom, and then this followed on into another bedroom. And it was very dark and pokey. The ceilings were really low. And uh, just by chance, one day, one of the builders hit the ceiling with a hammer and made a big hole. And we could see that actually the main ceiling was much further up than it is, or it was. So we pushed everything back up, we took all the partitions away and suddenly we had this enormous window with this fantastic light coming in and, uh, and the tree outside the window which makes you feel as if you're sort of suspended in a tree house. So this room sort of started off as being horrible and became, I think, you know, one of the nicest in the hotel. 